What's going on, adventurers? So, me and Badger are out on another adventure. <laughs> He's over there running around. So we're on another adventure. Um, I'm on my way to another local lake to do some shore fishing. I'm gonna be walking around the town. I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, a bunch of different random stuff today. It's not gonna just be a fishing video, but I am planning on fishing. So we're gonna do a little fishing uh, probably straight when I get to the lake. Um, and also I might be doing a live stream. So um, if you're watching this video, I've already done the live stream. I'm just gonna be posting this video. So it's gonna be kind of like behind the live stream what happened beforehand. So anyways, uh, I wanted to stop here real quick guys because I wanted to give you a brief uh, show of the devastation of the creek fire. So I know a lot of people knew about the creek fire. A lot of people, it, it was you know shown around on the news and everything. Um, but that is, as you can see, it is nothing but just burned burned trees there's still some good trees over here um but the fire is still burned over here uh some trees were staved so it kind of blew down and uh so this whole valley so this whole mountain uh sorry guys if i'm moving the camera too fast uh so this whole mountain's burnt and as far as the eye can see all this mountains down here are all all those mountains behind there are all burnt all that got destroyed Badger, where you going? <laughs> so Badger Bee's here with me today, of course. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna have a little fishing adventure. And uh, when I see you guys again, we'll probably be at the lake and all that good stuff. This is actually one of the lakes that I've been talking about that's been closed and couldn't get a boat on. Uh, one of the reasons why I came up today too was to check the boat launch situation, see if we could bring a boat, because I really want to, I've been wanting to come trolling up here. Um, because this is one of our known lakes. These, these are lakes that we, we know really, really well. Uh, shore fishing, eh, don't really do much shore fishing at this lake. Normally we go to the two upper lakes for that, are better for shore fishing, but we're gonna try it. So anyways, uh, we'll see you guys when we get to the lake. What's going on, adventurers? We are here at our known local lake. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little fishing today. And got some worms. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna rig this up with the worm. I have a worm feeder. I'm gonna run that worm feeder up that entire worm to almost almost the end, and then I go out top like that. Okay. And you're gonna grab your hook. You're gonna put it in that little hole. You're gonna hold the hook there and you're gonna pull down on the hook, up with the worm, feed the worm up the hook. So then you're gonna grab the worm, you're gonna pull up until it's up on the line, you're gonna pull that worm down until the hook is re revealed. And there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and All right, give it a little slack. And now we're gonna set it down somewhere where it'll stay up, which I might just use this, like so. Perfect. All right, and now we just sit and wait. All right, guys, so we changed it up. Uh, switched to power bait. We're gonna try that. Um, the dang ducks are going around my bobber and it's not a very good thing because they're scaring away the fish. So I'm gonna let the ducks kind of go away. And then uh, once they go away, I'm gonna go back to bobber and we're gonna keep trying that. So anyways, guys, see you hopefully soon when we're catching the fish.
fish, man. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? You're supposed to help me catch fish. We're still early, huh? Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna move. We're gonna move down. We're gonna go kind of like off that point. We're gonna try off that point next to the dam because I'm thinking the water could be really cold and the dam's really warm. So I'd like to be in that 52 to 55 range. So I'm thinking maybe they want the warmth from the wall. So I'm gonna try over there for a little bit and see what happens. What's the worst can happen, right? So I'm gonna go over there and I'll be back. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm getting my first hit. There it is. There it is. There it is. Shit, I think I missed him. Drag was too freaking low, too. Oh, come on. There it is. First fish, guys. Oh no, oh he's still in there. First fish of the day, guys. Oh, oh, oh. This might be a decent fish, guys. Oh. He actually feels pretty decent. Oh. I'm gonna take my time with him. He feels pretty good. I am not lying, he feels, he feels pretty decent. He's not massive, but he's definitely, a decent size and I hope he didn't swallow it. Come on. Come on. And I brought my scale this time. Nope, don't get on the rock. Don't get on the rock. Don't get on the rock. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna need to bring him on this side, guys. Oh shit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This might be one of my biggest fish, guys. Oh, this is a nice fish, dude. Oh, I don't want to lose him. Come on, get out of the rock. Get out of the rock. Come on, get out of the rock. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, let's go. Look at that guys, look at that fish, look at that fish, okay, he definitely ain't gonna live guys, he's bleeding, I actually wanna, okay I'm gonna try to take the chain, the weight of the chain off. One point five pounds, guys. One point five. And a one point five. That's a nice that is a nice fish. Nice fish. Okay. I need to grab a stick. Not a so much. 
bike jump. Stop at your hip for a second. It might be too far to the left. It was the last time I threw it, it was more that way. It was where I was getting the hits. Toss it more, toss it more to the right this time. I threw it in and literally they took it before it even hit the bottom and I didn't even turn on the camera, but I missed the opportunity. Um, but I think I might've found out what they want. It is getting about feeding time. There's that mill pond, that old mill pond out there. Let's see if they hit it again. While the camera's going. Okay, so it just hit bottom. Okay. I'm gonna reel in the slack a little bit. Got him. Fish number two, guys. Fish number two. Definitely doesn't feel, uh, it could be, uh, it could be as big as the last one. Doesn't feel as big, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. No guys, this is another solid fish. Another solid fish, guys. On that corn. Another solid fish. Another really solid fish, guys. Just gonna let him wear himself out. There we go, guys, yes. Another freaking solid fish. Holy cow, he also, s oh good, I got him on the lip. But we're gonna keep this guys because we're gonna do another fish fry oh my gosh look at that hook guys look how much he was hooked he was barely hooked barely like barely freaking hooked doesn't feel as heavy as the last one One point two. All right, I'll take it. That's still a solid fish. Oh. Too high out of the water. Just 
just slaying them on this corn right now, guys. I'm just absolutely killing it on this corn. I knew coming over this dam was a good, a good choice. How's it going, ventures? So I wanted to do a quick spillover real quick to let you guys know that uh, on Monday I'm going to be gone with my dad to the California Delta to do some camping, bass fishing, striper fishing. We're going to be camping out and doing a one to two part series for you guys. So I wanted to kind of just do this one quick video. I went up fishing at this local lake and I wanted this video in the meantime while we're getting prepped and ready for that trip. Also guys, we have some really cool stuff planned for that video. We have some um, surprises for you guys during that trip. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, to announce that during that video and also please don't forget to like and subscribe guys it really drives us to keep going every every video every comment that is commented i look at and i you know will comment back as much as i can um but this day was a pretty successful day we caught two decent trout um and we went home and took them home and got them prepped and ready so they're going to be ready to be cooked uh here shortly and soon hopefully but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this short little clip and videos that i did for you guys and hopefully we'll see you on the delta trip and next video have a good day guys